Can a change of guard at the White House herald a U.S. foreign policy shift in Africa? Within the backdrop of perhaps the most divisive presidential election in the country's history, the U.S. may find it critical to repackage itself in order to once again differently project itself globally. And it could all boil down to how it chooses to use its soft and hard power. Build and rightly so, as an epic battle for the soul of America, the election has served as the sternest test for democracy. In Africa, the U.S. may shortly begin to grapple with the unenviable task of restoring trust in democracy, for years a key plank of its policy on the continent. Its commitment to ideals such as justice, human rights, democracy and good governance may also come under increased scrutiny. A concept with mixed outcomes, democracy is still largely a work in progress on the continent. While the U.S. has strived to help integrate Africa in the global economy, build its capacity to deal with security threats, strengthen healthcare, and invigorate youth engagement, its ubiquitous footprint on the continent has served to counter the positive influence of other countries. This policy and its rigid nature has exposed gaps other countries have had to step in to fill agriculture, trade, infrastructural development, energy, foreign direct investment, ICT, to name just a few sectors. And these players have done so more as a way of complementing America's role and not to compete with its interests in Africa. But is a US-Africa policy change likely? Perhaps a wait and see posture would suffice for now. A walk down memory lane shows a consistent path since the post-Cold War era. Republicans or Democrats it's hardly ever mattered who's running the show in Washington, D.C. A congressional bipartisan around African issues and entrenched institutionalized bureaucracies have underpinned and perpetuated this policy outlook. A split Congress and Senate will make dramatic policy changes even more unlikely. The hope that the incoming administration will be more responsive to Africa's needs and allocate more resources to the continent is possibly rooted in the belief that Democrats are more responsive to African interests. It is also worth noting that each American president has had their own signature Africa project, from AGOA to Power Africa to President Trump's Prosper Africa. A conservative approach along these policy areas will likely persist. Perhaps the greatest hope for Africa will come from the way America engages globally and its trickle-down effect. Right now, the world is watching and is looking forward to an end to the U.S.'s zero-sum policy of America first and a quick return to the more inclusive win-win doctrine of multilateralism and globalization. Faced with existential threats, humanity is waiting with bated breath for viable solutions to a plethora of challenges, the most urgent one being the global COVID-19 pandemic.